Hey guys, up here on Technotion and in this video I am going to do a speed test between the Huawei Mate 9 and the Samsung Galaxy S8. So let's get right into it. So guys, first of all, let's boot up both the devices. I have the Exynos 8895 model of the Samsung Galaxy S8. And the Samsung Galaxy S8 was faster with the boot up. Now let me unlock both the devices. So guys, both the devices are now unlocked and both of them are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And there is no app running in the background of either of these devices. So now let's start, up, uh, start the test with the phone dialer at the count of three, two, one, go. And the Mate 9 was faster with that. So now let's load the settings application and the Mate 9 was again faster with that. So now let's move towards some third party applications. For that let's open the game death pipe. At the count of 3, 2, 1, go. What I've seen is that the Mate 9 has quicker animations despite both of them being on one multiplied uh, for both the devices in the settings, developer options and the Mate 9 was again faster with the death pipe as well. So now let's open the music application at the count of 3, 2, 1, go and the Mate 9 was again faster with that now let's open the hill climb racing 2 the samsung galaxy s8 was faster with that and now let's open pin out i will be opening a lot of games to put pressure on both the cpus so that we can test the ram management of both the devices And the same, Huawei Mate 9 is faster. Uh, till now only Samsung, uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 was faster with only one application. So now let's open the Telemart application. It is taking a lot of time on both the devices. I guess that has something to do with the Wi-Fi speed. Okay, so the pop-up opened first on the Mate 9, so that was faster over the Mate Now actually. The content was loaded first by the Samsung Galaxy S8, despite the pop-up being open on both the devices. So the Samsung Galaxy S8 is faster with that. For now, let's open the Service Surfer application. Let's see which one is faster here. So the Samsung Galaxy S8 opened that faster. So let's open this Edge application. And the Samsung Galaxy S8 was faster with that. Let's open Snapchat. And it was pretty much equal in both the devices. So application speed test wise, the Samsung Galaxy S8 was faster with like four of the applications and the rest of the applications were faster on the Huawei Mate 9. So I'll give that to the Huawei Mate 9. So it is 1-1, a boot up test wise, the Samsung Galaxy S8 faster and the 
application speed uh, application speed test wise the huawei mate 9 is faster so let me clear the tabs on both the devices first let me open a new tab and let me clear out the background tab okay so now let's open uh, phone arena on both the devices okay at the count of three two one go Samsung Galaxy S8 first one on the side let's check the loading bar and the S8 is faster with that let's wait for the Mate 9 now okay so Mate 9 took quite a while there let's open the first article And the asset was first one on the article and it loaded the site earlier as well so let's open a new tab now and here let's open wikipedia wikipedia.org and the huawei mate 9 it was faster with that so the boot up uh, sorry the web browsing test wise uh, i'll give the win to the samsung galaxy s8 and now let's do the multitasking test let's check the phone dialer and it is open on both the devices settings the huawei mate 9 refresh that death pipe the huawei mate 9 refresh that yeah music the samsung galaxy s8 refresh that while the s8 has that open oh sorry the samsung galaxy s8 refresh that and the mate 9 has that open now let's open the hill climb 2 and the huawei mate 9 refresh that while the S8 has that open let's check pin out the, S, uh, the Mate 9 refresh that while the S8 has that open I don't know what happened with the RAM management of the Mate 9 but it is performing very poor and the Mate 9 refresh telemart while the S8 has that open service surfers the Mate 9 refresh that while the S8 has that open so no need to do further testing of the multitasking the mate 9 refreshed all of the most most of the applications while the s8 only refreshed like one no it didn't refresh i guess so the uh, samsung Galaxy s8 clearly destroyed the mate 9 uh, RAM management wise maybe it has something to do with the heavy em ui5 now let's check their fingerprint sensor speed So at the count of 3, 2, 1, go. It was pretty much equal on both the devices. Let me zoom out a bit to, guys, to show you guys again. At the count of 3, 2, 1, go. The Mate 9 was faster. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel for further more daily tech videos. If you want to follow me on social media, the links are in the description. Peace and Assalamu Alaikum.